How's it going guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to talk about the Acer's Nitro 5 gaming laptop. So let's talk about the externals and let's see what ports they come with. So starting on the left side, we got an Ethernet port, we got an SD card slot, an HDMI port, along with USB cable type C and 3.0. On the right, that's where you plug in your power and two USB 2.0s. For the performance, we're running a mid-tier level laptop. So the CPU is at 8th gen Core i5. So when you're browsing the internet, doing your social media, or just creating documents, that's easily done. You can do that without any lags or any issues. Also, this laptop runs with eight gigs of RAM. So when you're doing everyday tasks, it's easily done. Moving on to gaming, and this laptop holds a 1050 Ti from GeForce. And for the most part, I don't play heavy graphic games. The games that I'm playing or I'm showing you is League of Legends, Counter-Strike, uh, Overwatch, and PUBG. And playing PUBG is the worst. Um, from the low end, from very low settings to ultra settings, like it's, it's very laggy. Um, for the most part, when you're running outside, it drops frames a lot, especially when you're going inside doors and coming right outside. And it's not a smooth gameplay overall. It's not the best experience for this laptop. And I would assume anything even more crazy, like more graphic crazy, like, you know, like Witcher 3, most likely it will not handle that game very well. Now playing games on a low end, like League of Legends and Counter-Strike, those I can actually play pretty well on the higher end of settings. Both of those games run pretty smooth and I didn't feel any um, lag or any frames dropped. So for those type of games, um, those are, you could play pretty high settings with those, no problem, pretty smooth. Now moving on to Overwatch, my best experience with this laptop is more on the low end. You can play medium, but anything higher than that, it's gonna start to get choppy and laggy. There are times when my FPS goes up to 80s and then it drops down to 15. So for the best overall smooth experience, stay at the lower end of the graphic settings. Now with the keyboard, it has a nice chiclet feel, but with a nice springy feedback. So I do like that. The area around the arrow keys it's a bit smushed, I feel it's crowded, but I don't really use that area a lot, so that's something to consider if we do use the arrow keys a lot. Now the trackpad is okay. When you're moving around and tapping on things, it works fine. But when you want to push down and get that click, it's it's kind of uh, unsatisfying because there's a huge gap in, in between, and it's just not that great. You're just pushing all the way down just to get a good click and good feedback, and I find that gap way too big. So that is the biggest weakness of this trackpad. Now with the screen, it is 1080p with a 15 inch display and it is matte. So it does well with reflections, but when you're directly under the sun, this laptop is not bright enough to use under those conditions. When I'm under shade, then I can see some things, but for me, it's still not bright enough to use outside. For battery life, this thing claims to have up to 5.5 hours of use but I use it on high performance mode, so that knocks me down to three. And when I'm gaming, that knocks me down to less than an hour. So for battery life, this is not too good. This is also a con here. I would just keep this laptop plugged in at all times. This laptop weighs at six pounds, almost six pounds, and it's pretty thick. So if you do have a laptop bag that's more on the slimmer side that can claim that it fits 15 inches, this one may not fit. The laptop that we have here costs about $850. Overall, I think this laptop's good for everyday things. I do like the SD card slot, so you do have some multimedia action there. And people who like to play games on the really, really light side. Now remember, this is a mid-level laptop, so it's not gonna be aimed for the high-end hardcore users. If you're a casual gamer, then you may get by with this. It depends on what games you play. So that is my review of the Acer's Nitro 5 gaming laptop. We do have links for you down below to check out. Remember to like, subscribe, favorite this video, and always enjoy your entertainment.